I'm Ash Sarka for Navarra Media, and I'm here with the one and only Diane Abbott, Shadow Home Secretary. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. So I've got a few questions for you, and one of them is you are one of the most experienced MPs in Jeremy Corbyn's Shadow Cabinet. What has changed for women of colour in politics since 1987? Well, first of all, there are more women of colour in politics at every level. Jeremy has one, two, three, four women of colour in the shadow cabinet, and that's a first. I think that in all the professions, actually, women of colour are in numbers they were not before, but that doesn't mean to say that we've defeated racism or sexism. There's no question that since 1987, you see more women of colour in professional positions. So when you first became an MP, there was a vibrant, populist, anti-racist movement in the UK. Things have changed quite a bit. Do you think that Labour is connecting well with that kind of grassroots anti-racist movement? Is there stuff that Labour could do better? Do you have any ambitions or hopes for seeing a revival of that kind of, you know, mass scale anti-racist organising? Well, Jeremy himself has consistently been involved in grassroots anti-racist organising and still continues to support it and take part in events. I think what happened was that a generation of young people of colour who thought the way forward was to keep their heads down and become sort of new labour, if you like. Um, and that was unfortunate because it stalled the progress that people like myself and Bernie made in the 80s and early 90s. But I think we've been liberated from that and you're seeing some amazing young black activists out there. And Jeremy and I and many others want to engage with and support those activists. I mean, you mentioned um, people being afraid to kind of put their head above the parapet. You've, of course, done that. And to see you handle such horrendous abuse with grace, poise and fearlessness has been inspiring. For women of colour watching you go through all that and who might be put off entering politics or putting their head above the parapet, what's your advice for them? Well, first of all, some of the horribleness that I've endured as a politician is only a sort of exaggerated version of some of the negativity that black women in a lot of professions and a lot of roles in society have to experience. So, and it's coming from the same place. And I think what will get you through it is knowing what you believe in, um, the support of your friends and family, and knowing that it's really important that all of us, in however great a way or small a way, make things better for a younger generation. Cool, thank you so much for joining us, Diane, and good luck over conference. Thank you. Cheers.